हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू द वी आर अनदर क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम फिजिक्स एंड दिस इज फॉर नीट एंड आईटी जेई मेंस एंड एडवांस इट कैन कम इनटू सीबीएसई विद वेरी रेयर चांसेस सो गुड फॉर नीट एंड जेई मे बी सो द क्वेश्चन गोस लाइक दिस देयर इज अ स्फीयर एंड देयर इज अ वायर ओवर इट इन व्हिच अ करंट आई इज गोइंग इट्स मास इज एम रेडियस इज आर देयर इज मैग्नेटिक फील्ड बी डाउनवर्ड्स एंगल इज थीटा इट इज इन रोटेशनल इक्विलिब्रियम वी नीड टू फाइंड व्हाट इज दिस ओके सो दे हैव नॉट Uh, mention whether it is in translational equilibrium or not. Okay, so let us take two cases. Translational equilibrium is there, and translational equilibrium is not there. Okay, let us take some friction mu here. If it is in translational equilibrium, that means it is not going down, not going up, and it was in rotational equilibrium. That means it is not, it was not rotating. That means in this case, it is not moving at all. If it is not moving at all, the friction here is upwards. mg sine theta, mg cos theta, normal reaction. If it is not moving, then friction is how much? mg sine theta. Yeah. If it was moving, if it is not in translational equilibrium, if it is moving, that means friction is maximum. So in this case, friction is maximum. How much? Mu mg cos theta. Getting my point. So if it is moving, it is not in translational equilibrium. That means the friction is maximum in energy cos theta. So in this case, there is no torque due to these forces. So in this case, torque due to force is equal to the torque due to uh, you know this mapping speed. Now if the current is like this, mapping moment will be like this. Capital M. Let us take this as small m, the mass. And again. Since this angle is theta 90 minus theta, again it will become theta. That means you can see m cross b. The m cross b torque, anti-clockwise, is equal to the clockwise torque of force. That is F into R. So from uh, this scenario, we can write m b sine theta. The torque of magnetic field is equal to the torque of force. That is m g sine theta into R. Force into a perpendicular distance. Right? What is m? The magnetic moment m will be n i a. There is only one loop. That means n is one into i into pi r square. That means simply i pi r square. So we can write it here. Sign the gates cancel. It will become i pi r square into b is equal to how much? M g r one r gets cancel, and b comes out to be m g upon i pi r. Okay. So this is one thing. If it was not in translational equilibrium, that means it is not rotating, but it was moving. Then the friction is maximum. Then we can write F into R is equal to the torque of friction is equal to torque of this. That is again I pi R square m b sine theta, right? M cross b. So how much is F? Let us put the value. It is mu m g. Cos theta into R is equal to I pi R square B sine theta. It comes down. It becomes cot theta. One R gets cancelled. Then B becomes how much? See mu m G cot theta upon pi R. Yeah. So and I also right? I also become so mu m G cot theta upon I pi R. So the dimensionally, I think both are coming as same. And so this option was not there. So in such a scenario, when they have not mentioned anything, you have to uh, ideally solve both the scenarios. And this was the answer which was given in the question. Okay. Uh, I hope the question is clear. So two cases, translation equilibrium is there. It is not there. And I hope I have made it clear. So if it is in translation equilibrium, it is not moving. Then friction is not maximum. If it is moving, then the friction is maximum. Yeah. And finally, we just equated the torque of friction with the torque of magnetic field. There was no torque of these three forces as they were acting in the center. Torque is equal to force in perpendicular distance. In these cases, perpendicular distance is zero. So that's it for today. If you have any doubts uh, regarding this question or anything else, you can write in the comments. Share this video with other all your friends and keep practicing. Practice will only make you perfect. These are only simulating factors which can add on to your preparations. Yeah. And uh, that's it for today. Uh, keep practicing. All the best, and we'll meet uh, meet in the next class with another good video. Okay, thank you.